Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our web.com account. As you can see we've already opened the getting started email and we'll begin by clicking on the support link. We'll log in. Next, we'll click on the Hosting Manage link and then click on the Manage link again. We'll go down and click on the Open Source Applications link. And here we'll click on the Add New WordPress. The first thing we'll need to do is check our domain name. The domain name here, ncmtest09.com, is correct. Next, we'll need to choose a folder in which to install WordPress, as web.com does not permit you to install WordPress in the root directory. So the folder name WordPress 1 is as good as any other. We need to make certain to check this box so our WordPress installation will be the content management system for our entire website. We'll click the next button. Here we'll need to add the credentials for our new WordPress site. We'll add a username. We'll paste the secure password. We'll paste the password again and enter our email address. We'll click the next button. We'll check the box to accept the terms of the license agreement and click the next button. Next we'll confirm that the information here is correct. Click the confirm button. The message tells us that web.com is currently installing WordPress and that it can take up to 10 minutes. Once it has finished installing, the status will be shown in the open source library as active rather than processing. So we'll click the link to go back to my applications. You can see here that the message tells us that it is installing so we'll wait patiently as it does. We just refreshed the page and now the database status is installed. So we'll take a look at our new WordPress site here. Here you can see our new WordPress site. It has been successfully installed. We can change the site name, WordPress 1, to anything we'd like by using the dashboard. And we can also change the site tagline. This is the default Hello World post. We can delete that using the WordPress dashboard. And as far as the look of our site is concerned, we can also change the theme using the WordPress dashboard. Next we'll log in to see the dashboard. And here you can see the WordPress dashboard for our new site. From the left hand menu we can control all aspects of the site. To create a new post, we would click the plus new post link. Here we would enter a title for our post. Here we would enter the content. And then we would click the publish button. But we're not going to publish a new post today. We'll simply go back and take a look at our site 
once again by using the Visit Site link. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.